Hi, I'm here in uh, Holland, Michigan. I'm at the most interesting gentleman, and he's going to tell you about his new adventure uh, in Alaska. He's decided to change his uh, career and um, start something that you might want to listen to. <laughs> So I'm Bill, and I've um, had an interesting retirement, uh, rather tame, so to speak, turning bowls on my lathe and making knives on my knife grinder, and decided maybe that wasn't quite enough of an adventure. I retired 15 years ago, and um, my son had an intriguing idea. They had panned in gold for the la panned in Alaska for gold last couple of years, and came to me and said. Uh, what do you think about investing in a gold mine? So, I didn't think much of wow, it. Wow, a I gold mine! It. Yeah, I didn't think much <laughs> That's of it. That's wild. When I first mentioned it, but uh, the and tell them where it is. It, uh, I decided, yeah, that sounds very interesting. It is um, um, in the Arctic Circle. Uh, the closest town is a little town called Coldfoot, Coldfoot, Alaska. Uh, which got its name because the miners that were originally there got cold feet. They didn't want to go any further north into the Arctic, so they named the town Coldfoot. And that's the closest town to us, about 10 miles away from our mine. And uh, again, we're about 100 miles into the, 200 miles into the Arctic Circle. Uh, so it's way up there uh, in Alaska. And um, we have, we're surface mining. Uh, we're not in a mine shaft or anything. We're, we're scraping the tundra and um, feeding that into a wash plant, which sits beside a, beside a stream. So we have uh, uh, water as uh, is our most cherished resource. So we can wash all of the dirt and gravel that we find. And uh, we have a double screen wash system which the top screen filters off all of the large stones and then uh, the second screen filters off uh, stuff down to sand size and then it drops in through a sluice and the sluice is where we find our, our gold and he said you always find a lot of gold we will we haven't yet because the wash system isn't quite running yet oh, but there okay. is gold there and we know that because because core samples are done so a geologist comes up every year uh, drills three or four hundred core samples on our acreage. We might designate a four acre plot wow. of the 220 acre or the 520 acres that we've bought a, uh, a mine on and we can mine that amount. The state owns all of the land and you just buy the gold rights to that oh, I 520 see. acres and uh, we do our core samples on four or five acres each year and that tells us where in the spring to get started so each one of those core samples will have some amount of gold in it we analyze the amount of gold in each core sample and we start at the one that had the most gold in the core hmm. tell me and about the animals you said you saw lots, there lots of grizzly bear and a lot of moose a lot of fox um, up there, uh, some brown bear, uh, some you black bear. you see any bear. polar bears or no? No, further north for polar bears. Oh, okay. Um, so, and they like the ice flows, so uh, they're up on the ocean. And, um, but um, uh, a lot of grizzlies, uh, so they're frequent camp visitors, and moose are frequent camp visitors. Uh, a lot of fox. Uh, in Alaska. And then how do you get so up there? You fly? We uh, fly into Fairbanks. You can mm -hmm. fly anywhere anywhere in the country up to Fairbanks. And then uh, it's all private air service to go north of Fairbanks. And north of Fairbanks is something you all maybe have heard about, particularly if you watch Discovery Channel, uh, because you might have seen uh, the most dangerous highway in the world is the Dalton Highway, which runs north from Fairbanks. And why is it so dangerous? Uh, just because of the sheer, uh, the sheer side, you can drop 4,000 feet if you drive off the side of the highway in some places. And there's probably a lot of sliding and, around. Uh, there's a lot of gravel. It's paved only in certain spots, but it's mostly gravel the entire way. Um, and so it's a very dangerous highway, in particular in the wintertime, and they have to still get up to Prudhoe um, because that's where the start of the Alaska pipeline is. Oh. So... Uh, wow. And the pipeline pretty much goes along the Dalton Highway. It, it, it snakes 
um, all along there because they had to make all these detours when they built the pipeline back in the 60s. Wow. Uh, the pipeline wasn't completed until 73. And um, uh, they really had very few, amazingly few hiccups in building the pipeline. Well, that's a big adventure that you bought a gold mine. A guy from, where are you originally from? This is Chicago, uh, Chicago area. This is Holland, and, Michigan, uh, but she's yeah, he's from have, uh, Chicago. We have two homes, one in Holland, Michigan, and one in Naperville, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. Yeah. And so, yes, it, it is truly an adventure And now for he us, owns a gold mine. Midwesterners to buy a gold mine. So. <laughs> Thanks for the story. You're welcome. It was very interesting.